Hello everyone, this is Shapnam here. Welcome back to my channel, The Counseling Corner. So hope you all are doing good. So in today's video, we will see what exactly you mean by schizophrenia. What are the causes? What are the signs and symptoms? What are the treatments which are available? And what are the side effects of the medication? So let's get started. So schizophrenia is considered as the major mental illness. And here the person is totally out of touch with reality. And it affects the way the person feels things as well as behaves. If we talk about the contributing factors, the exact cause of schizophrenia is not yet known. But it is really associated with genetics. That is, if it runs in the family, then the risk is higher. But as per research, a combination of genetic factors the environmental factors and the life situations of the people also might contribute to schizophrenia. It could be like poverty or nutritional deficiency if they're exposed to some virus or stressful life situations. The third contributing factor would be the abnormal functions or the structure of the brain could also lead to schizophrenia. See, schizophrenia is mostly common among women and it is usually diagnosed between the age of 16 to 30 years. But the symptoms will vary from person to person. So again, if you see, these symptoms are categorized into three different categories. The first one is known as the positive symptoms or the psychotic symptoms. The second uh, category is known as the negative symptoms. And the third one is known as the cognitive symptoms. So under the psychotic symptoms, again, there are four types of symptoms. The first one is known as the hallucination, which involves the sense organs. Right, the person might start uh, you know, for hearing things or seeing things or you no know, smelling or tasting or feeling things which does not actually exist. Most common is hearing uh, you know, auditory. So a person might hear someone giving instructions, asking them, you no, know, or scolding them or criticizing them. But which is actually not true. The second thing is known as the delusions. Delusions means a person might firmly start believing in something which has no evidence. Example, a person might start uh, no, firmly believing that someone is plotting against them, trying to harm them or kill them, but which actually does not is not true. The third one is thought disorder. There would be a disorganized thought process as well as speech. A person who's speaking might suddenly stop speaking or speak irrelevant and illogical things which you cannot ex uh, no, understand or he would be you know, switching from one topic to another. And the last one in this is known as the movement disorder where the person will start exhibiting uh, no, abnormal body movements. See, the negative symptoms would include complete lack of motivation and lack of interest in those activities which they were enjoying earlier. Complete social withdrawal, not able to do their day-to-day -day functions, sleep disorder, eating disorder, poor grooming and hygiene. And under cognitive symptoms, uh, they will not be able to take the decisions, loss of memory would be there, no, unable to pay attention, lack of focus and concentration. Treatment of schizophrenia mostly focuses on helping the individuals to manage their symptoms uh, to you know, improve their day-to-day -day functions as well as to help them to achieve their goals like personal goals like completing their educations or pursuing their career. And antipsychotic drugs may be prescribed to reduce the intensity and the frequency of the symptoms and it is prescribed in the form of pills which they have to consume every day. But some of the you know, patients are very reluctant to take pills. In this case, it might be given in the form of injection once or twice a month. Definitely the experience, uh, you know, some for side effects like drow drowsiness might be there, weight gain might be there, tiredness might be there, uh, you know, as well as dry mouth. But these symptoms will gradually disappear once they get used to it. But in case the symptoms persist, then they can get in touch with their doctor or the psychiatrist and he might prescribe some medicine for the side effects as well as reduce the dosage of the medicine. So along with medication, uh, psychotherapy would also be given like talk therapy, cognitive behavior therapy and skill training. And this would help to you know, prevent the reoccurrence of the symptoms as, uh, as well as you know, the need for the hospitalization. So actually, if you see for schizophrenia, there is no permanent cure as such. But yes, medication would be prescribed to manage the frequency and intensity of the symptoms. 
So this is all about schizophrenia. So hope this information was useful to you. And in case it was useful to you, please do pass it on. Uh, do subscribe to my channel, The Counseling Corner. And most importantly, hit the bell icon so that you get timely notifications whenever I post my new videos. So thank you so much. See you next time.